Well, during a federal election campaign, we hear a lot from special interest groups as well as the main parties. The Conservatives, Liberals, NDP, and the Greens are having a chance to get their say. But it is a little more difficult for smaller parties to get their message out. We often refer to them as the fringe parties, and in Nanaimo, there's a new party that has entered the fray called the Pirate Party. Appropriate for Nanaimo, perhaps, and despite the storied history of swashbucklers in the Harbor City, this party may not be what you think. He doesn't look much like a pirate. Jesse Schroeder is a student slash activist slash house painter and more recently a federal election candidate for the Pirate Party of Canada, a political party that believes in digital democracy, informational freedom, copyright reform and government transparency. There's a, a real shift that needs to be made in terms of how we use information across society uh, because information belongs to everybody. This is the, the summary of human knowledge. Despite winning a seat in the Swedish parliament, the Pirate Party of Canada is what you'd call a fringe party, defined as a political party with a negligible constituency relative to the total national electorate. In the Nanaimo Alberni riding, that would also include the Marxist-Leninist Party and the Christian Heritage Party of Canada. Well, the distinguishing feature of the Christian Heritage Party is that uh, we're pro-life. And so what we want to see is the protection of uh, innocent human life from conception to natural death. The front runners in the Nanaimo Alberni riding this election, incumbent conservative James Lunny and NDP candidate Zenny Martman. Renee Miller is running for the Liberals. Myron Jesperson is the candidate for the Green Party. But if you mark your ballot for anyone but the front runners, are you throwing your vote away? Some would say no. It sends a message to all of those parties that have been selling you the same brand year in and year out and continuing upon the same path of what is not building a nation, but allowing a nation to be sold off in bits and pieces. Retired teacher and Christian Heritage Party candidate Frank Wagner agrees. He says to vote for anything you don't believe in is undemocratic, even immoral. Well, it's the only way democracy uh, will work. If you don't do that, then... Uh, you know, everybody's confused. You don't know where you're at and where the politicians are at. We couldn't find many people today who would tell us they plan to vote for one of the fringe parties. No. Why? It's a waste of a vote, really, I think. You're throwing it away. I don't think um, that my vo vote would be worth anything for then. I, uh, I, I, you vote for, for something or against something. I, I, I think if people want to make a point with those parties, if they believe in those parties, then... Uh, it's not likely to get somewhere, but it still makes a statement. All the political parties, whether fringe or mainstream, agree. For true democracy to take place, everyone needs to exercise their democratic right on May 2nd and get out and vote. In Nanaimo, Jonathan Bartlett, A News.